Hi, I'm Christine McKay and welcome to My Craft Studio. Today we are here with Laurie and she has a blog called Take 5 and Create and yes. we are going to talk a little bit about these gorgeous boxes right here. But before we do, tell me a little bit about your, your blog and kind of how you got started. And well, I know you're way, way <laughs> versatile and she can pretty much do anything from seeing uh, opera yeah. to decoupage. <laughs> yeah, the opera to decoupage. That's what I should have named the blog. Um, no, I just started, I've always loved crafting my whole life. And I guess it was because my mother does not. And so <laughs> there you I go. always looked for ways to create uh, from the time I was little. But I also created through music. And my kids are theater kids and I was a theater kid. So take five is a kind of a nod to theater where you relax a little bit and take a minute and create. And so um, that's where it came up from, came from. And so I just started doing that and uh, posting recipes and all kind of stuff. So pretty much you can go to your blog and find yeah. a little bit of everything. Everything, just about. And today we're just going to talk about this awesome box. Yeah, so tell me about, <clears throat> these are gorgeous. Like each one is like this little <laughs> miniature work of art. Yeah, well, I went to a really fun craft weekend and I never have done mixed media before. And I got, this was my first one right here. Um, uh, that They, they kind of just said, throw everything on there you want. And so I did, and I, it actually turned out kind of cute. It's kind of freeing, <laughs> isn't it? And it's it beautiful. Is, it is. So I started uh, an idea. I, I thought, well, what can I do for my sisters? I have five sisters um, and, a, and two brothers. So I'm the oldest of eight. And so I wanted to do something special for their birthdays this year. And so I actually did each one of theirs specific to Aww. them and their color. This is my youngest sister, Ashna and her name's on it. And so I'm gonna fill it with a lot of fun things that remind me of her. Um, also, the idea is to take one of these boxes, any kind, and use it as a birthday box for your friend or your neighbor and fill it with little strips of paper for memories that they have throughout the whole year. So on their I next birthday. I love that. Yeah, so on their next birthday, they can open it up. And I'm going to put take five bars because that's one of my favorite. And, you know, hello, the blog. marketing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? And then I'm going to fill it with the little strips of paper. And then next birthday, I'm going to give her a little cute journal to go. And she can paste all of those I in there. I love that. And, and I love, all those memories. So they're I kind love, of memory boxes. I love the idea of taking the packaging and turning that into part of the gift as well. Yes. And these are so great. So show us uh, mm. how to do this. Okay, so this one is going to be for my sister Patrice, and she doesn't know about it until now. So. <laughs> <laughs> but she is a pure Texan. I mean, I am too, because that's where we were born and raised. But she lives in the sticks, to be honest. And so <laughs> I'm doing a whole Texas theme for her. Uh, and I don't think she'll ever leave the state. Um, so that's why she gets this one. Anyway, what you start doing is you start, you mark your box first. And my husband did this. I just try to eyeball it because yeah, I don't I have time. Life's too short yeah, to measure. So he just m gets a ruler and makes an X like a smarty pants and does that. <laughs> and then I just use my scissors because, you know, I'm not safe. Of course. <laughs> You're my kind of crafter. Yeah, you know what? It's that's There's the probably thing. some twenty dollar tool that does that, but you know, yeah, I don't have time for that. So no. the knob will fit, and these cute knobs and you can at get this. at any of your local craft stores. Look at the, it's an owl. Yeah, How and cute so is she'll that? love she'll love the owl because there's a lot of those on her property. I think they've got. And you were ten, saying that one acres. thing that's nice about this project is that you can use just <coughs> old paper that you yes. have in your stash. And so right here I've kind of got an idea of how, or to show you an idea of how I set it up. I start by gathering the papers that I want. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's their favorite color or just something that speaks to me. And then I gather the paint that I want and the knob. So when I go through the craft store, that's what I'll do is I'll pick that out. And then the size of box. Um, my sister Cammie likes little bitty bitty things. So I did her a little tiny box. And so it just depends, you know, then we got the humongous box for those who like lots of chocolate. Love uh, it. That'd be mine. <laughs> you can fill that uh -huh. one up. Anyway, you start by marking the edges of the box. And I was going to say, this is where I've made my mistake in the past of when I've tried to decoupage boxes is that mm -hmm. if you do it all the way up, the you can't, you lid can't isn't going to fit. And for some of them, I'll start by, and this is one that I almost went too far up, but I'll start by painting the box first to match the coloring that I want. So you can do that too, but with this one, it's just, I like the craft because it's Texan and it's rustic. Awesome. So I just do that. So anyway, you just start tearing up your papers and you start mod podging. And if you don't know how to mod podge, shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like beauty cream. It, it's oh, awesome I like for it. crafting. It's cra beauty cream yeah. for crafting. Beauty, beauty Ooh, I cream love for it. Crafting. And really, you don't have to worry about and getting we, it perfect. And the nice thing is if you're doing just a small piece is, is you really don't need to worry about the bubbling mm -hmm. as much as you do if you're trying to lay an entire no, sheet. No, and you can't be afraid to get dirty. Of course. Yeah. And that's just, you know, it's probably not... Um, oh, no. This is... I'm loving... This is how <laughs> I craft at home. Anyway, 
you get the idea. So you, you mod podge it all up. And then here's one that's already been pre-mod podged. And then you start with this lovely washi tape. Oh. Who doesn't love washi tape? That's what I want to know. I love washi tape. So then I just use washi tape. But the thing I have learned about it is you have to mod podge the suckers down or it will peel up. So I just yeah, do that. Yeah, because that's one of the nice things about it is it is repositionable. But so on see? this, we don't want it to be repositionable. And so you just kind of oh. add washi tape. And then I just put it down. And then I just glue right over it. So it's easy. Oh, I love it. And then it. it dries. So cute. And so then you just build. You can use ribbon, and which this I've is, got. And I'm loving the, the burlap Yeah, and that. that's really the texture that you do. And, and mixed media, you can do anything you want. You can put old patterns. You can put ribbon. Maybe your mom's lace from something that might mean something to her. Anything you want. You can even do photos, but um, you have to be careful with the Mod Podge with the photos because they might if they're on paper but I just just add whatever I want and then you can add words and then the end here I've kind of just painted and that's the fun part and I've done the bottom too because I like and I can see you have some <laughs> and I can see you have some fun tools over there I do for mixed media so I use bubble wrap I've used this, I don't even know what this stuff is I think called. It's like it's that you, in liner. Yeah, like when you're the like liner. drying dishes or salt shelf liner, yeah, that plastic. So you can just use anything. You can you start looking around and going, hey, that would look cute. And let's see if I can. My daughter it. likes to stamp uh, with the bottoms of her flip flops. So I just press it and then it just oh, makes different coloring that. all over. And you can use these cute little stencils and make little circles. You know, however you want to. But it really to is make just it. freeing and just adding to it. And I, yes, I just I love like especially on this side right here where you you've added little words that either you can use stickers that you've printed off, but it really yes. does personalize mm. it. So you can even use this little um, chip art and hot glue those on. So I have the hot glue going over yeah, here. Yeah, let's do that. And this is P for Patrice because that's my sister. And this really is a great way to use up some of your older um, scrapbook supplies. I mean, I know I've got a whole drawer of like just different chipboard letters and. I mean, cute. Oh, so that's try to so personalize cute. it so that it makes uh, it special for the person that you're giving it to. You can use rub-ons after it's all dry. Rub-ons are great. Are awesome with that. But then you can also, which I've done, is I've printed out. I mean, I can't find a Texas sticker. So with a heart, so I just printed it out and cut it out and I put, hey, y'all. So I'll just do certain little cute aspects to make it specific for my sister. Oh my gosh, Laurie, I love, friend. I love this. <laughs> this is so great. Yes. So can we, will you have uh, more pictures of these on your blog? Yes, I'm going to okay. do a whole tutorial on the blog and I also will be giving away this one on the blog that it says take five and create, but this one is specific for you. Right oh, here. Ta -da. And that was the one I was <laughs> eyeing, so that works yes. so perfect. And we were going to do a giveaway, correct? Yes. So mm -hmm. this will obviously, will will because this stays in our archives, so this will only be uh, available for the first week that this show airs live, and you can go to our blog and figure out the contest details. So tell me a little bit about these shirts. Well, I just like this saying, um, being creative is not a hobby, it's a way of life. And so it doesn't matter what you create, whether it's uh, genealogy, pictures or mixed media projects or food, you can always be creative. I love it. That's awesome. Thank you so much. And be sure to check out Laurie's blog, take5andcreate.com. Yes. Thanks.